Um, I have Mr. Tunde um, on the line. And I, knowing that um, the off-cycle election is coming up in Edo State in a few months from now, I just want to find out what's the state of things in currently in Edo State? Uh, presently, everywhere is cool and calm in Edo State as uh, we prepare for the election uh, in uh, September. And in fact, today, being the uh, 27th of May, is the commencement of the continuous voters registration by INEC, whereby across the 18 local government areas of uh, Edo State, uh, centers have been uh, provided where people can go to and uh, register for them to be able to take part in the election. And uh, in fact, the one that ought to be a center in uh, the INEC State Office uh, in Benin, unfortunately, because of the flood, uh, that happened over the weekend, the INEC State Office will not be used as a center again, and a new mm. place will have to be provided for people to register because the state office was flooded and uh, both uh, movable and uh, uh, movable uh, materials, equipment were damaged. So for that center, a new place will be provided where by other uh, points, across the remaining uh, local governments can uh, still be used for registration. So that is what uh, is the situation as we speak. Oh, okay, Mr. Tunde. So looking at the pre-election activities in Edo State, what do you think the election day would look like? Uh, I think uh, there's no cause for alarm uh, for now because uh, all the candidates have uh, emerged for the different political parties and uh, they are going about uh, with their campaigns asking for votes and uh, support and the choice is uh, left with the people of uh, Edo to decide on uh, who they feel should be their next governor. I believe you are already aware of the frontline candidates from the the APC, from the PDP and from the Labour uh, Party. So uh, the choice is for people to make as the candidates go about telling people what they want, what they feel uh, they can do to make uh, Edo State better. So everywhere is uh, peaceful. People are going about their activities and the candidates are also uh, moving peacefully, telling people why they need their votes. Excellent. So Mr. Tunde, as a state coordinator under the Ready to Lead Africa movement, what role is your chapter playing in engaging youths of Edo states during this election period? We, as a body in uh, Edo state, we are trying to let people know the benefits involved in coming out to vote. Also, trying to let them know that it's important for us to have a peaceful election and for them to know that the fact that we want to choose our next governor does not mean we should uh, uh, go into spreading uh, propaganda, creating uh, unnecessary stories, false stories, because a lot of them are, you know, false stories are happening. So we are telling our youth that they should not be involved in things like that. We have to be objective and they have to be involved in the process. That is what uh, our campaign has been. And as we move towards the election proper, we hope that we will intensify this our campaign and we will be able to move around the 18 local government areas of those state to tell them the reason why they have to be involved, why they have to be involved in a peaceful manner, and why they have to tell everybody, everybody in the European units in the world that they should be involved in this election. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Tunde. I will look forward to hearing more from you from Edo State. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having me.